Connor Vernon's weathercast has been awarded the seal of approval by the American Meteorological Society. Weather School is sponsored by McDonald's of Central Texas. With cooler air on the way, I thought we'd ask a sort of an odd question today, and here it is. Is this true or false? The moon helps to heat the earth. Is that true or false? Does the moon have anything to do with the heat on the earth? We'll have the answer for you right after this from McDonald's, our weather school sponsor. The answer is true, exactly. The moon does help heat the earth. Now keep in mind that when you're looking at the moon and it's all lit up, that you're really seeing reflection from the sun. The moon really doesn't have a light source. However, that reflection, it makes it all the way back to the earth along with uh, some uh, reflection up there and we actually get about two trillion watts of reflected energy from the moon. Although when you compare that with what we get from the sun, that's just a teeny tiny bit. It does actually help warm the earth. In our area, we didn't get too warm today. We start off with a low of 47, topped out at 60. That's not bad for the middle of winter anywhere you are in the U.S. In our area, not a drop of rain has fallen. We don't anticipate a great deal of rain, but look out for the sprinkles scattered around the area tomorrow. Thin clouds now. It is 53 degrees. Relative humidity is at 40 percent. Wind is out of the north, and the barometric pressure is on the rise. Those cloudy skies are not just in the central sections of the state. They are statewide. Here's our quick look at temperatures. 55 in Dallas, 38 degrees out in the Trans-Pecos, the coldest spot that we can find. Tomorrow, as I mentioned a moment ago, we are certainly going to have conditions that are ripe for providing us with patchy areas of drizzle, few sprinkles here and there. The heaviest rain, though, is going to be out in West Texas, really all along the Rio Grande, stretching back in New Mexico. There's a little storm system that has just settled in over Mexico and is just holding its own. The one thing that is going to continue to do is pull moisture over the top of us. It will be cloudy all weekend, so much colder temperatures near the beginning of the week. Also, a note of interest here, right now in the southeastern corner of Arizona, snow flurries. Not too common for them right now, but that's because of that system. Here's our forecast for the rest of this evening. Cloudy skies, nice and cool with a low of 40 degrees. Tomorrow, we are going to be just as cloudy. It is going to be cool. We'll have a few isolated sprinkles. The best chance of rain, though, in our extended forecast is going to be Sunday, Sunday with uh, cooler temperatures over the next it's couple of days. Not cold enough to sleet or snow. No, right? no problems with that, thank goodness, this weekend. It should be a pretty good weekend, except for the clouds and maybe a little sprinkle. Arizona got the uncommon snow that we were supposed to be that's getting. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Connor.